All right, this is part two of, I've only got five minute videos, so this is part two. Same deal, same as what we did in class. What we'll do now is just, again, back to these guys, just quickly alternate colors for these. There is a way to do these, to choose alternate colors and do them, not do them manually. But I just think it's best to just in this case to do them manually, just to work out what's going on. So this is gonna go almost done here. As you can see, I'm just using the mouse to select right across the thing. And again, I just go through this stuff relatively quick because it's exactly what we're going to do in class. So this one is going to be solid green and maybe just a tint of green here. All good. This text here is white. White. Same again. I want to select this entire bottom section here. And here I want every rule here to be white. So I've selected everything here and changed the color to paper or white. All good. These areas here is the same as the top. Select on that eyedropper. Remember, eyedropper and right click pretty much does everything. So what we'll do some centering and things like that now. I can click to the right of this cell here. And up here, you would already know this is center, left, right, all these sort of things. So we, it's to the left, but we also have to the right of that, centered up and down inside of the thing. So these guys here will center all these that way. And this text here, this is just another thing to know with indenting cells. We want to put, based on this over here, this text, it's actually aligned to the decimal point, but just in this case, it's all aligned to the right and it's indented a bit. So I'm going to select all this stuff all these guys and up here aligned to the right but what happens now is you've got this cell padding up here so as long as the link here is unlinked we want to go from the right so we just want to come across from the right a bit so this will come in really handy as to indent um, cell padding inside of that okay another just a few things to know that building a1 is slightly bigger than the rest of them a thing you can do is select this stuff right click distribute rows evenly and it was divide up the space around what's left okay so there's just things to know that's bold this last line's bold so select this stuff Helvetica bold and one thing we have to do here is that rule above that guy it, it works in a rule in a line system so if I can't move just that top rule without moving the entire thing so what we want to do as this is still in the box as you can see here this text box like similar to a picture box similar to a picture box but that's there so what we want to do is we want to keep everything in this outside box but we want this to be in its own thing so what I'm going to do is just with my text tool select the last table and just command X or edit cut up here okay so I've just cut that out of the table and you can see the cursor here all right, so I'm just going to hit return and then command V, which is paste. So they're still in the same table. So if you do want to move this, everything will still move accordingly rather than have to move 50 things at a time. But what you can do now is this one can move across to suit that and come back in with this. So with tables and learning, it's a matter of just clicking on things like anything, just clicking on bits and pieces and just see where they go to line up. So what I would probably do in this case is put that back over the top of this one and then go through and just manually get this to where it is. So we're just doing it manually here. Or you, what you could have done is put that there and these might be all over the place. You can see that red circle there is the same as an overflowing text box. So it's saying there's more text. So what we could do is get this here. We know that the first column is the right width. So these last three, select all them, right click, distribute columns evenly. So that would divide the space out. And with this one, as you can see, we can move this without affecting the bottom one. Okay. All good. That text is a little bit big. I think no, that's all good. So this one, so bring it back here. So that looks, and there's what I can see there, there's a black rule on the end of that line. So a good way to fix that in 28 seconds. Select that one. We're just talking about what's on the end of it, which is this last blue one here and zero. And that pretty much is the table, top and bottom, all wonderful. Okay, that's it. So that's how to set a table or a basic table. All good, cheers.